Welcome back. This is the long awaited answer to my last what's the diagnosis. And just to recap, that was a 12 and a half year old medium to large breed dog that had a mass on the left elbow. And I showed you some pictures of what I was seeing on aspiration. In particular, this finding, this is something called a crown like cell and is often seen in the sarcoma family of cancers. I'm not sure if it's technically, oh God, I can't say this word, pathomanionic, path, path, well, or if it's just commonly seen in those cancers. So most of the guesses that I got were different variations of the sarcoma cancers. I called it a suspected soft tissue sarcoma, but that is kind of a overriding umbrella to all these other perivascular and other kind of cancers that people are guessing. So great job on the people who got it right and the people who have never seen this before, either have I, you know, before seeing this, um, at least in real life. So a pretty cool finding. The soft tissue sarcoma, as I told the owner this, they tend to be locally aggressive, but don't tend to metastasize, which makes their prognosis a lot better than a lot of cancers. In this case, where it was complete excision would mean an amputation of the leg. This dog was a senior dog, but he was a very good senior dog in very good condition. So I do think that that would be a decent option for this dog. At this point, they're still kind of thinking about it, but they're leaning towards palliative measures only, which I also think is appropriate. In these situations, no answer is the wrong answer as far as what these owners decide is best for their own pet. Obviously, I've recommended referral to oncology, which they have decided against right now, but obviously that is always an option in the future. Let me know if you guys got it right and if you have any other questions. Thanks.